Okay, today we're going to talk about um, what happens when you increase the temperature on a fixed volume of gas. So here I've got a piece of apparatus called a jolly bulb and it contains a fixed volume of gas and that's attached to a pressure gauge at the top. I'm going to increase the temperature on the fixed volume of gas. Um, the quantity of gas is going to stay the same, so we're going to have the same mass of gas and all we're going to be doing is measuring the pressure with this pressure gauge. We know that pressure is force divided by area and in a gas the particles are moving around with a range of speeds in random directions. When the particles hit a surface they apply a force to that surface. This is what causes pressure inside the jolly bulb. Okay so down at the bottom of the jolly bulb we've got our sphere of metal which contains air okay and there's no way that the air can get in or out so we've got fixed volume of air it's then connected to a pressure gauge and this pressure gauge it mainly says psi but we're actually going to be more interested in the red values the red values are going to be in pascals times 10 to the power 5. Well, I've got, got the jolly bulb and I'm going to pop it in this saucepan here. I'm going to heat that up. I've also got a thermometer, which I'm going to, electronic thermometer, which I'm going to put uh, next to it as well to record the temperature for water. No water at the moment, uh, so uh, I've put some water in the freezer. Now, it hasn't frozen because I've put salt in the water. The lid on. So I'm going to turn the hob on now to start increasing the temperature. Now that I've started my experiment I need to start taking some readings. I'm going to be taking temperature from the thermometer and pressure from the pressure gauge. You're going to need to copy down this results table and fill in the results as you see them on the screen. You may well need to pause the video at certain times. Try and take a reading every 10 degrees Celsius. This first reading at about 10 degrees Celsius is actually 0 0.9 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Remember to pause the video whenever you need to. As soon as you've got all of your results, you need to plot a graph of temperature on the x-axis and pressure on the y-axis. Uh, hopefully you will be able to draw a line of best fit. The results of this experiment are quite easy to understand. As the gas is heated, the gas particles are going to gain kinetic energy. Because they have more kinetic energy, they're going to be moving faster. They're going to be hitting the sides of the container, so the insides of the jolly bulb, more frequently and with a greater force. Um, this is going to increase the pressure on the inside of the jolly bulb. Hopefully when you plotted your graph you found that you had a straight line. This shows that you've got a proportional relationship. So this is called Gay-Lussac's law which states that for a fixed volume of gas as you increase the temperature the pressure will increase proportionally. That's enough for me today. Thanks for watching and now it's time for you to go and do some work.